and welcome to Patty Knits and Spins. I'm your host Patty. Today is August 20th, 2018 and this is episode 76. Boy, do I have a lot to show you. On today's show, I have some works in progress, finished objects, purchases, and whatever else crosses my mind. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice your craft of choice and let's chat. Yeah, so much for me coming back in two weeks. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just got the knitting bug so hard and heavy that I was just knitting up a storm. I mean, my cross stitch has gone really slowly, but my knitting groove is back in full force. So I'm going to take advantage of this while I have it. I finished up some projects. I started a whole bunch of new ones. so. Yeah, I've been having a really, really good month. Um, let's see, what else has been going on? Not much. Not really a lot. Um, hubby's been camping a couple of times. The grandson is in New York visiting his other set of grandparents. And yeah, it's been really quiet here for the last two Fridays. And one more Friday, and then he's back with grandma i can't wait i can't wait i've missed his little face i miss my kid too it's nice to know when he i like to know where he's at so and he's uh my son's been having a really good time in new york they've gone to a zoo and just having a blast so and my other two sons are doing great as well yeah so shall we get on to the knitting ah, i think so and i think that I'm going to go ahead and um, talk about what's sitting in my lap because that's my finished objects. My first finished object is my beekeeper cardigan that I started at SSK. And it was knit on a size 7 US, 4.5 millimeter. And this is the sweater that I did not gauge for it. I did not do a gauge swatch because I just wanted to jump right in and do it. So I did and guess what? It fits. But here it is. I did this on Elizabeth Lavole silky wool and here's the back and here's the front. It is an open-faced cardigan so there's no buttons and it's got three-quarter sleeves. So just to prove that it fits, I will show you. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it closes in the front really nicely. Let me stand up here so you can see that, yes, indeed, my Avenger shirt, <laughs> it does fit. So when I lose more weight, it'll fit even better, but and it's not black, it's blue. <laughs> but I'm really happy with it. It turned out exactly how I hoped. I did not do it in the four days, obviously. Uh, I did finish it in August. I think I finished it on... Shoot, I can't remember. I can't remember when I finished it. But I did finish it, and I'm very happy. All It's been blocked and everything. So, yay for finished objects. So, the second thing I finished, since I was in a finishing mood after finishing this wonderful sweater, was the Chevron Shenanigans by Stephen West. I did mine out of a worsted weight hand spun. Now this one I have not blocked, so this is it. I did on a US 8 5mm, and as you can see, it is huge. And it was supposed to be five colors, but it ended up only being four. Because, let's be honest, I was getting tired of knitting on it. So, <laughs> I decided that this was enough. But there we go. There it is. It is wonderful. And it, oh, it's just like, mmm. So nice. So, so nice. So, I'm going to keep it on for now because it's nice and warm. And then the third thing I finished was the corner to corner blanket and it's on, it's crocheted. I did it on a Karen Cake Blueberry Kiwi in a 5.5 or eye hook, eye hook 
so there we go and it I use two skeins so it is it's a good baby size I think or a nice lap blanket so we're gonna put it back down on the lap blanket but I really like it um, that is fun pattern once you've got it you've got it and you just keep going so yep yay so those are my finished objects how about that three of them I am, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Drink of water. Okay. So, after I got back from SSK, I bought some patterns and then decided to go ahead and get the um, yarn for them so that I could just go right through and keep knitting my iPad is right here, so it's like, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the yarn and the pattern that I picked out for it. So I first is Hot Flash, and these are this is by Laura Nelkin. And I really like it. It is such a pretty um, sh um, sweater. And it is also another open front sweater. Let me see if I can find another. Oh, here's a side view. So it's lace and it's knit from side to side. And I'm really happy that I got that I did this one. So what I did is I went to knit picks and I picked up some cotton because I wanted to try the cotton and linen. So this is DK weight. It is a uh, let's see, 70% cotton, 30% linen, and 123 yards per ball, so it's 50 ounces. And on my size, I got 11 of them. So I think, I'm hoping that it'll be nice and drapey and very nice. Um, I have started two Laura's of Laura's patterns and have discovered that I need to go up at least two needle sizes from what she does. So hopefully that will help make, to make sure I get that done right. So the another one that I picked up yarn for is called Pacificus. As you see, it's got lace on the front and lace on the side. Let's see if I can find a side shot. Here we go. So here is that side lace. And I like that you've got that gap there. So if you need a little bit more room, you can move that. And what I picked up for that is, and this one is done in a fingering weight. So I picked up some, this is called Graffiti Speckle. And it is 80 super wash fine Highland wool, 20% polyamide, 357 yards. So I'm obviously going to, I think what I'm going to do is hang these up in 50 gram balls. So split them, I have three, so I'd have six balls and then um, take one and two together and then maybe one and three together and then two and three I'll have to think about that because I want them all different and then blend them in at the same time. So, but I really think that that will look pretty on that sweater. So, very, very happy with that one. Okay. Okay, and then I picked up yarn for polka and I started polka. Where's my polka? Right here. So my polka, she's doing as a knit along, and this is also Lauren Nelkin. And it is a open front cardigan with a pocket. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm doing the knit along, but I got different yarn for that one. So what I got for that, I got this one from Webbs. And it is Northfield Valley Yarns. And it is, what is it, 
70 merino, 20 alpaca, and 10 silk. And it's probably going to be too drapey for this, but I'm okay with that if it's drapey. That's fine, because I want something. Oops. Need to take that sign off me. So on this one, she says to knit on a five, and I had to knit it on a seven. Yep, 4.5 millimeter. So I'm waiting for the next bunch. So it's got dolman sleeves, so that's where I'm, that's the point I'm at now to start the dolman sleeves. So that's where I'm at on polka. Very happy, very happy. See, that might not be too bad. Yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I know it will be. Okay. And then when I was at SSK, everybody was talking about the novelty and how you could go to Craftsy and get the pattern and the yarn for half price. So I jumped on that bandwagon as soon as I got home. And this is the novelty by Laura Nelkin. And this one is a really simple one because I just, I like how that looks. And I am doing some mods to this. So according to her, my measurements, I can do the medium body and have two inches of ease instead of the four inches of ease. And what I did is I went ahead and I bought the kit for the 2X. So I have plenty of yarn. So what I did is I'm doing the medium body. I added to the sleeves. So the sleeve was going to only be this long, but I added this much to the sleeve. So right here is the, oops, not there. Where is it? Right here. So this is the top of the shoulder. So it'll sit like that. So I added these, this much in. And I also decided to do the longer. So I'm doing the 2X in the length. So the body will be medium, the length will be a 2X, and the arm has got a couple inches of longer. So I'm very, very happy with this. So this she called for a, she must have called for a four because I, went up to a six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, this is a five, so she called it th for three. Did she, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because the three doesn't sound right. Let me see. She calls for four. I got gauge at five with this um, cotton. And um, it's Pima cotton from Cloud, it's Cloud Porn Pima cotton. And it, it, yeah, it's 100% Pima cotton. It's machine wash, cold, gentle, hand wash, normal. Do not wring flat to dry. So this is the pumpkin colorway. So I have two Laura Nelkin sweaters on the go. <laughs> Crazy, but it is so much fun. It is so much fun. I tried to get some more yarn and I don't know if the 50% is still working because it didn't work for me, but if you want to try, you should try. And then one more, one more purchase with a sweater is the Emerald by Isabel Kramer. And I thought this one was really, really pretty. It's got some um, stuff at the very top there. And I just think, oh, that is so cool looking. So I went ahead and got from Knit Picks some more of the um, Kotlin, because this one just calls for what? It doesn't say right here on the pattern page, but so I got this pretty purple. Oops, this is pretty, pretty purple. So this again is 70-30 cotton linen. So I'm hoping that the linen, I'll give it some drape. So yeah, um, those are the <laughs> one, two, three, four, five sweaters. Yeah, five sweaters purchases. So six since SSK, I've bought six, six 
six sweaters worth, sweaters quantities of yarn. Uh, I'm crazy, but yeah. So not only do I have the two sweaters going, but I also have a sock that's out of the Spotted Circus Black Neon Rainbow Sock Blank that I picked up at SSK. And this is my knitting out. So if I'm at my parents' house or a doctor's appointment with my grandmother or knitting with my knit friends, my knit group, this is it. So I'm doing a toe up. Doing a toe up with the Fish Lips Kiss heel because that's the heel I like. And I'm knitting these on a size 2, 2.75 because the yarn is a little bit thicker than, I think it's like a sport. But yeah, so fun. I had it up to like here and then I tried it on and it was too big. So I had to go back and decrease four stitches. So just one round of decreases and that's where I'm at. So, mm. This is living in my Star Knits bag that I got at SSK. And then, if that's not enough, it's never enough. I went ahead and just pulled this out. And I haven't done very much on it at all. Because I wanted to do a sock, but I didn't want to work on my car sock. So I picked out this Manic Pixie Dream yarn in the dreams and delirium the endless so this is the zoe base so it's 80 superwash 20 nylon and 400 yards and it's a neat self strapping and then i decided not to knit it anymore <laughs> but i'm going to keep it so this is a us 1 2.25 so i'm very very happy with all of that. Can you believe it? Yeah. That's a lot to talk about. And this is in my Happy Crab bag. I bought this Happy Crab bag so long ago that I don't remember who I got it from. Um, I wish I could remember because look at that. I get more oh, let's do this one. I get more statements of, ooh, I love that bag from people than any other bag I've ever had. Because who doesn't love a Happy Crab? Really? Really? Who doesn't love a happy crab? So, according to my list here, I am finished. I've uh, showed you all my yarn. I've uh, showed you all my projects, except for one. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one is a very important one I want to show. Um, a friend of mine works at the hospital here in town, and she went by the because it was raining and she the cancer center is right next to the hospital so she walked through the cancer center to get to work and the lady there asked if we wouldn't if she knew anybody who might want to knit some knitted knockers so here's my first knitted knocker and I am using the knitted knocker um, pattern and if you want to find these let's see where is it knittedknocker.org and you can get the pattern it's free I need to stuff mine a little bit more mine is a size B and they give you a list of yarn that you can use they also let's see if you don't want to stuff them you can send them unstuffed to knitted knockers and then we'll stuff them for you uh, this one is Cascades yarn ultra Pima fine so, and they ask that you only use these yarns, and some of the yarns they show in here are stuff you could do for knitting, or for swimming, and then stuff for regular every day. So this one is an every day, and yeah, I'm really happy I did this. Um, it was out of my 50 gram ball. I think I can get maybe... I have 39 grams left, so I think I can get two more, but I'm not sure, of the size B. And they don't care what color. They said a lot of ladies want the A's and the B's, so that's what we're doing. I did mine on a size US 4. And I don't remember what a 4 is right offhand, sorry. 
Um, is it a 3.5? Might be a 3.5. Because I think a 5 is a 3.75. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really happy that I jumped in on this. And um, yeah, see how. So if you want to do a charity, go to your uh, go to your local and see if they need any knitted knockers. That'll just show. You. There's a lot of yarn that is okay to do that with. So yeah, think about it. It's a good cause, and it doesn't take very long. I started that Wednesday, and I think I got it done Friday. And that was, I wasn't even constantly knitting on it. I can see if you had an afternoon or a day that you're not doing anything else, I could see whipping those out in a day. No, no problem whatsoever. So that is actually all I have for you this time. Hopefully I can show you some other things next time. So. I hope that whatever you craft, you're crafting it to your heart's content.